But there is a clear agenda in society right now to eliminate the role of men, in fact, to eliminate all type of gender roles and to make everyone equal, so to speak. Let me just say this, men and women are not equal. Now, when I said that, what did you hear? If you heard men and women are not equal, but women are inferior, there's something wrong with you. I did not say that. Women are not inferior to men and men are not inferior to women, but they are not equal in the sense that they are not the same. The definition of the word equal implies sameness. Now, the fact that men have penises and women have vaginas means that there is no way that they can be the same. Are they equally of value? Yes, they are, most certainly. Let me read this uh, uh, short paragraph I, I found. In defining and explaining male headship and female subjection, it will be seen that male and female roles are not contradictory, but complementary. God has designed man and woman to complement, not to contradict each other, not to be incompatible, but to be compatible. Feminism argues for duplication, but the truth is to complement each other. Male chauvinism demands male domination, but the truth is that there is a partnership. Yet it is not a partnership in which the partners are equally responsible for every matter. These matters materialise most in marriage, but they are relevant for every single male and female relationship, whether in marriage or in the church or in society. We refer, of course, to mature manhood and mature womanhood. For we read even of the Son of God in our nature that during his minority, according to the human nature, he was subject to Mary as well as to Joseph. He was subject unto them, Luke 2 verse 51. The Bible...